install components is dead. Well, not completely dead, but it's in maintenance mode. If you have an application running style components, congratulations on your job security. You'll be migrating code for the foreseeable future. Style components death might not come as a surprise to you if you've been a React developer for a while, and it might not surprise you to hear yet another JavaScript tool needs replacing. The JavaScript ecosystem has the attention span of a goldfish. For the uninitiated, style components was the king of CSS in JavaScript libraries, letting you write actual CSS inside your JavaScript files like this. It solved the age-old problem of CSS naming nightmares, where developers would spend more time debating class names and end up with super mega important blue button, don't touch this one. By the time you finished debating the class name, three new JavaScript frameworks had been released. It also made it super easy to do dynamic styling, which fit really nicely with React's prop and state. So what killed our beloved CSS in JS Hero? First, React is evolving. It is de facto deprecating parts of its API that style components depended on, like the context API. This can't be used in server components. There is no upgrade path, no workaround. The library is stuck in the past. Another reason was the maintainer has moved on and does not use style components in larger production applications. But the technical nail in the coffin? Performance. Runtime CSS in JavaScript libraries like style components have to do a lot of work while your app is running. They serialize your styles into plain CSS, they inject the CSS into the document, and they do this every time your component renders. Plus, your bundle size takes a hit. It might not sound like much, but in the age of core web vitals and mobile-first development, every kilobyte counts. But what about the elephant in the room? Tailwind. Love it or hate it, Tailwind CSS has become the utility class framework of choice. Yes, your HTML looks like a chaotic mess, but who cares when AI is reading and writing it anyway? Plus, with libraries like ShadCN choosing Tailwind, it's become the standard nearly everywhere. You will struggle to find an AI-generated landing page without Tailwind. The other choice is zero runtime CSS in JS, getting all of the benefits of CSS in JS without the performance hit. These work by extracting styles into real CSS at build time, meaning there is no runtime overhead and no performance hit. It's the best of both worlds. One of these options is Linaria. If you're migrating from style components, Linaria is your smoothest path forward. The syntax is nearly identical. If you're a TypeScript enthusiast who dreams in static types, Vanilla Extract is your new best friend. It's more verbose, but you get full TypeScript safety, and your IDE will autocomplete those theme variables, and you'll catch typos at compile time instead of runtime. Atomic CSS libraries are also popular. There's Panda CSS, which combines Atomic CSS principles with zero runtime extraction and type safety. It's like Tailwind and CSS in JS had a baby, and that baby is really, really fast. Meta also built their own tool, StyleX, to solve styling at a massive scale, because when you have billions of users, even a kilobyte of CSS reduction means one less server farm. StyleX compiles to Atomic CSS classes, meaning your CSS never grows beyond a certain size, no matter how big your app gets. That's how Facebook keeps that CSS bundle tiny, allowing your grandparents to like AI slop faster than ever before. Web development is like fashion though, if you wait long enough, your dad's approach to CSS will be cool again. Some traditional approaches are making a strong comeback. CSS modules never actually left, but they're getting more love now that runtime CSS in JS is falling out of favor. Simple, scoped, and zero runtime overhead. Sometimes the old ways are the best ways. Maybe even ignore all of the noise and just continue writing CSS files with your headphones on as each new trend comes and goes. For now, it's time to move on. Style components and CSS in JS did a great job at solving early pain points, but there's better options now. The author should be proud of his contribution to this wave of web development. Don't take for granted the solutions we call obvious today. Remember they're only obvious now because of the successes and failures of those that came before. Goodbye and farewell styled components.